Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Today on how to fuck up a guitar with Nelson. We're going to put some of this stuff on that guitar. Why would you do that? Why would you put that nonsense on that beautiful guitar? Dun 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 Because the paint's fucked up and I wanted to try it. And it looks like it's easy to do. So here goes nothing. Let's go down into the shop. Alright, boys and girls, come along with me for the journey as I open this stuff that I've never ever used before in my life. Ever, ever, ever. Did I also mention I'm not a person who's inclined to read instructions? This is going to go well. Ooh, yeah! Look at this stuff. Okay. I probably should read the instructions, eh? Preparation tools needed. Small, flat-edged squeegee. You may use a credit card or driver's license. I have both of those. Hair dryer, check. Washcloth, check. Utility knife, hobby knife, check. Measuring tape and a pencil, check. Check, check! I have all of those things. Okay. Do not apply over painted areas that are rusted, chipped, scratched, or dented. Check, check. This may result in the removal of the paint when you decide to remove the vinyl. Don't care. Paint is fucked. Be sure when you're installing the area is dry, free of dust and dirt. Best temperature to install the vinyl is no less than 16 degrees Celsius or 60 degrees Fahrenheit. With best results at 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit and 21 to 26. Well, let's just see what friggin' temperature it is in here, because you know what? I think we're well within range. Isn't this riveting? Watching me read instructions to you on the edge of your chair. I'm probably going to cut all this bullshit out of the video. Uh, if you're wondering what that is, for those of you keen-eyed viewers, I run a little side business where I fix kids' toys. Charge $79.95. Uh, I just want to make sure that I'm going to have enough to do everything I want to do. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Because that's... That's exactly what I meant. Was never... Oh, man, I have heaps. Just going to check to see what I... Cool man, cool, 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 cool man, cool, cool, cool man, super cool, cool man, cool, cool, cool. Bet you're all wondering what happened to the back end of this, eh? Okay? At one time, while it was drying, it looked fantastic. <sighs> but it doesn't matter, because it's my guitar now. Oh yeah, I bought this. Uh, dig a lot, dig a lot, dig a lot, dig a lot, ooh, 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 dig a lot, dig a lot, ooh, 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 I dig it a lot, I dig it a lot. I've decided to accept that this guitar is going to be a bit of an ugly duckling. But it's a hell of a player, so I'm just going to use it as a good opportunity to try something I've always wanted to try, because you can just pull that stuff off. It was cheap to buy. That ye old crappy the tire here in Canada, as we all lovingly refer to it. I'd be curious to know... If there's anywhere in Canada that doesn't refer to Canadian Tire as Crappy Tire. Look at that. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of treat this like a sticker, 
and I'm going to stick it on. Did I mention this is the first time I've ever used this stuff? I uh, just generally go haphazardly into things. Sometimes turn out brilliantly and other times turn out disastrously wrong. Pretty damn happy with it so far. And since this stuff is removable, I'm thinking about getting some of this, not probably necessarily this stuff, but but maybe like a clear, a clear vinyl wrap protect my other guitar against <coughs> bubble buckle rash how are we looking there oh there's a few little Okay, well that's my first part. I'm okay with that. It's the back of the guitar. That's cool. I'm totally cool with that. It says you can poke them with a little, with a little thing to get rid of air bubbles. But that's okay. I'm not going to bother with that. I just wanted to have a nice clean edge, which I do. Alright, so when it's your guitar, Stick her down wherever the hell you like. There you go. I'll tell you what, boys. That turned out pretty damn well. I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm definitely going to do <laughs> the whole back of the guitar in this now. Alright, so the control cavity turned out so well, I decided I was going to do this right away. Um, so all I'm going to do now is just try to get a rough idea of what I need to cut out. And then uh, I'll start putting it on the guitar. Now, I'm not trying to be fancy and match up the grain pattern, so I'm just okay. It's DIY Crafts Day. It's DIY Crafts Day at my house. Jesus. Stuff's annoying. Trying to cut out a rough shape here. Just not to have to deal with so much of it to cut off. And it's proving to be very much a pain the way I'm doing it. Which 
Some of you DIYers out there are probably cringing a bit. So let's just peel this back about halfway. Fold it in half. Like this. with where I start. Just make sure that so this you can peel this stuff back. It doesn't it doesn't hurt it. All right, so I still have a few bubbles to pop and a bit more work to do, but there's a phrase where I come from and it's called, good enough for the girls I go with. Yeah, I dig it. Cool, man. Not bad for a first time experiment. All right. There she blows. Just been popping some more bubbles, trying to smooth it out some more, but yeah, that's pretty well what I was going for. Just get a nice clean edge. All the way around. Got a few more bubbles to pop, but overall I'm pretty damn pleased with the way that turned out. And uh I would try it again. It's not the greatest job for my first time, but yeah, if you're good at stuff like this, you should try this. Because this stuff you can peel right back off. <laughs>